when you're done with your project, make sure you export it as a picture. Exporting it as a picture makes it a picture that you can bring into another program. Simply saving the project is not making it a picture. Now you're going to start the program called Publisher. It's on your computer. You just search for it, Publisher. And what we're going to do is a blank 11 by 8.5 picture. That's sideways. That's the landscape version. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag out these lines off to the side here. And these lines are going to correspond with the numbers that you have on the direction. So the first one, for example, is 3.75. So what you're going to do is find three and three quarters of an inch right there, which is the first line. Then you're going to need five and a quarter. So 5.25, which is going to be five and a quarter, almost a six using this ruler on the top. And the next one is going to be ten and a half. Or I'm sorry, nine. So you're going to drag this line out, bring it over to the nine. And then you're going to pull out one for ten and a half. So you're going to come back over here, go to ten and a half. Look at it corresponds with this blue line, but that's not. It's just a coincidence. That's not what it was. Um, it wasn't intentional. And then you're going to drag out um, the down one, the down lines. Let me show you what, what we're looking at here. So these are the, the numbers that we're going by for the uh, vertical lines. And now we're going to do the up and down lines. So the first one for the up and down would be, the horizontal line would be 1.5. So you go to 1.5, which is 1.5, going down this right here. You can move these lines at any time. And you can also delete them by right-clicking on them if you make a mistake. Uh, you can also push them back and start over and just pull out another one. So one and a half, there it is. And then we need seven. So you're going to pull down all of these in order to lay out what is going to be your cereal box. And you're going to put your main cover cereal here and your back cereal stuff here. And this is going to be the side panel, and this is going to be a side panel. And these are going to be fold lines later on when we fold. There is an optional line that I'd like you to drag out because it does make a big difference when we go to fold it in the end. And that is one more line. If you pull out this one here, and I believe it is just a quarter inch in, so right about there. That's for a fold line later on. And when you put your when you put your content in here, you stop at that line there. This blue line that goes all the way around, I want you to completely ignore that line. That line is just a, a general publishing guideline for any publication that you were make. It is not the guidelines for this project. So you're going to insert as an image from insert picture your serial cover that you exported in GIMP, and then you're going to fill in the rest of the panels with content. Uh, so this left panel here, we're going to make it so that it falls within this green line here, and we're going to put our warning labels and things like that, and our supplement facts. We want supplement facts uh, in this panel here. This will be the side of your box. And like you would expect on, on a top of a box would be the box top, which is a um, common thing you would see on a cereal box. So you would put that on top. And a barcode. So if you type in fun barcode in, um, in Google, you'll find some really interesting things that you can use for your uh, cereal box. Something like this is a barcode, but it's more entertaining than anything. Put it on the bottom of your box, or if you want, on the side of your box. And then on the back side, you could Google search the word maze, for example, and copy that and add that to your back side of your box. 
along with several images that would uh, um, indicate some kind of unique game that you would for example you could find a image with transparent background and add it to your game piece in the back and then write some text along with it using the text box. So you can have the frog try to get to its food source on the other side of the maze, for example. Keep in mind this guideline is is there to keep you from having it go off to the you know the bottom there. So make sure that it does not go on the underneath that line. Remember, the blue lines are not the guidelines. The blue lines are just uh, general guidelines from publisher for every document. But for our purposes, we're doing fold lines, we're doing cuts, and so forth. So in the end, it's all nicely wrapped into a box. When you're ready to turn this in, I mean, this isn't complete and it could use some work. But first you want to save it, of course, like every project you ever do. But you're also going to do a save as. And you're going to choose JPEG. So a JPEG is a picture file. A picture file that you can use to put on your portfolio, which is ultimately what you need to do, in addition to sending me the actual project file so that I can print it out, do some testing, Make sure it prints out nicely, and then, of course, printing it in color. So you're going to do two saves. One, the save of your project, and you're going to do a save as, and you're going to change it to JPEG to make a picture to go on your portfolio.